Good morning. My name is Pragman Chaudhary, and today I am going to throw light on the subject reinforced cement concrete. Now, to study this subject, we must know some basic concepts. That is prerequisites, which are type of load, type of supports, shear force diagram, bending moment diagram, stress and strain. Now, in this subject, we are going to study the concepts of concrete, steel, beam, the design concepts of beam. Slab, column, and foundation. Now, concrete. What exactly concrete is? Concrete is the mixture of cement, aggregate, water, and admixture. Further, the aggregate is divided as coarse aggregate and fine aggregate. Actually, in the concrete matrix, the coarse aggregate is having high volume, and coarse aggregate actually take the loads. Now, the to fill the gap. the gaps of the coarse aggregate fine aggregate is there the water reacts with cement it forms gel and cement acts as a binding material where the admixture what we use in the concrete they increase uh, they enhance the properties of the fresh concrete concrete is very weak in tension but it is very strong in compression so whenever we talk about the strength of concrete it is always compressive strain on the ranges of the compressive strain the concrete is categorized in the different grades <clears throat> those are m10 m15 m20 up to m80 in this m shows the design mix of the concrete and 10 shows the compressive strength of the concrete in newton per mm square <clears throat> for different types of construction different grade of concrete is used such as for the building and apartment construction the ordinary concrete is used in which m10 m15 m20 comes For more severe constructions, the grades from M25 to M55 is used, which is standard concrete. And for very, very severe constructions like dam, pavements, uh, bridges, piers, high strain concrete is used, in which the grades from M60 to M80 comes. Okay. As we are going to study the RCC members, the steel is the backbone of RCC. Which we will discuss later on. Now, the steel basically is a alloy made up of the iron metal, carbon, and other metals. These all mixes and forms steel. In this steel, the carbon percentage is in between the 0.1 percent to 4.5 percent. The percentage of the carbon decides the elasticity of the steel. Now, in market, actually. Uh, the steel is available in different grades fe250 which now is out of market fe415 and fe500 fe500 grade is very popular in between the civil engineers this 250 415 and 500 shows the tensile strength of this steel in newton per mm square now the design concept for rcc here the simply supported beam is shown On which the point load is given of W intensity. Now this is the neutral axis of the beam. Under the point load, the beam will deflect like this. I'll show you with a very short demonstration. Here, consider this as a beam. If you give the load on the top of the beam, the beam will deflect like this. Now you can see the bottom most fiber of the beam is expanding. So it is. actually experiencing the tension and the uppermost fiber of the beam is experiencing contraction means the compression is there that's why i was telling you the concrete is very strong in compression so here in this part means the part about the neutral axis we can give concrete but for this part in which tension is there we cannot rely on concrete so we have to provide steel bars over here so if any beam with steel bars only at the bottom means over here only is what is singly reinforced beam good morning friends here we are going to discuss about the import importance of steel in concrete 
here we have taken the example of beam. Uh, how the steel is important in concrete is getting demonstrated here with the help of beam. So, uh, in this beam, uh, you can see that this beam is made up of only using concrete. So, there is no capability here provided to take care of the tension. By this experiment, when we are going to apply a load at its center, when the, then the tension will come at its bottom portion. But what happens? We are not provided the steel to take care of that tension. It will going to be crushed all the way. So here we can see now. I am. Now this beam is having reinforcement in it and we are applying load on it which is a point load, concentrated load. Which is acting at the center of the beam. In previous case, we have seen that how it, uh, how the beam, which is not having reinforcement, breaked. In this case, this beam is having reinforcement, and you, it is loaded with same weight, and still, it is bearing the weight. In this video, you can see that it has started failure cracks but it it had not destroyed totally this is only because of the reinforcement provided in this beam methods of rcc design in the methods of rcc design we have two methods that is working stress method and demonstrate method this method is outdated but nowadays this method is very popular amongst all the engineers in in the working stress method that is in wsm the factor of safety is not considered, but or in the limit state method it is considered. Factor of safety is that in which the loads we which we take we increase them by some multiplier. By the WSM method, the sections which we design are very heavy, which are very uneconomical also. But in the limit state method, it is not like that. We can design economical sections. Here in this WSM method, the biggest disadvantage was by this, if we design any member by this method, it doesn't show any indication of failure. But in the limit state method, the member shows the failure indication. Here I have drawn uh, three four diagrams, a beam, a slab and the column. The load transfer of the building is uh, like this, slab first, the slab transfers load to the beam, beam to column and column to footing, ultimately to the footing. Now in this beam, if the beam is having still at the bottom only, then that is single beam. Okay, that's okay. But if the beam is having still on the both side, then that beam means Double beam. Okay. So this is about beam. Talking about slab, what we do in the slab? Slab, if the slab is transferring load to the two beams on the edges, then this is one way slab. If the slab is transferring load if the all four beams are available on the edges, then that is two way slab. Footing, as usual, footing is like this. The column the part uh, comes on the footing, and then this footing transfers load to the soil beneath the footing. And the column, column takes load from the uh, beam. Actually on column, as many the number of beams are there on the coil, the reaction from each beam we take as a load on column. So here in this condition the vertical load will be there on the column. See in every condition there is vertical load on the column. So this is all about the
brief idea about the game footing slab and earth. This was our video about RCC1. Thank you for watching our video.